Meghan Markle has responded publicly following her recent honor from the Yoruba king, Oluo of Iwo, and it has sparked diverse reactions among royal fans. The Duchess of Sussex, 42, was honored with a traditional Yoruba name added to Kumbo, something Meghan highlighted as a treasured gift, branding Nigeria as her home. Meghan said, Thank you for your warm welcome to Nigeria. I am deeply humbled by your blessing of the traditional Yoruba name, added to Kumbo. I treasure the name and appreciate your trust in me to carry it with grace and dignity. Looking back at her trip to Nigeria with husband Prince Harry, she commented, Our visit to Nigeria was important for many reasons, not least because it gave us an opportunity to explore and understand my heritage, which extends to our children. We look forward to coming back home one day soon. However, her comments led to varied reactions from royal fans on X, formerly known as Twitter. One fan embraced her newfound affinity stating, it's cool that Meghan's embracing her Nigerian heritage. Representation matters, and it's nice to see someone in the spotlight acknowledging. In contrast, another user expressed skepticism with a terse reply, embracing? Now. Just attempting to be relevant, reports The Mirror. Some even criticized the Duchess calling her use of the new title as pretentious and fake. However, other users were quick to note that Meghan's title is not an official royal designation, merely a traditional Nigerian name, which in Yoruba translates to the crown returns from over the sea. Meghan and Prince Harry's trip to Nigeria last month was particularly significant after the Duchess discovered she's 43% Nigerian through a genealogy test. The former Suits actress described the revelation as humbling and shared, it's been eye-opening to be able to know more about my heritage. She reflected on the experience, saying, never in a million years would I understand it as much as I do now. And what has been echoed so much in the past day is, oh, we are not so surprised when we found out you are Nigerian. However, while the trip has proved a success for the Sussexes, former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond recently told OK that it had been rather awkward for King Charles and Prince William. She told us, the King and Prince William are firmly of the belief that you are either in or out of the working royals. This seems to be a rather strange halfway house. I think both the King and the Prince, and indeed the government, will want it to be made clear that Harry is not representing either the royal family or Britain on this trip.